ready, mama? You ready, baby? This is our first dip in the pool. It's cold, mama. Brace yourself. <laughs> Y'all ready to hoop? Yeah, <laughs> young Hooper, what that do, girl? Drop the eleven top. Yeah, I got the girlfriends out here. What you know about them? I think I bought these when I was like 20 years old. Like, I had to have been, I don't even think I was 21 yet. You know how much I spent on them? 325? Close. I remember. Are they even real? Yeah, they real, what you mean? I'm gonna send that to the homie Monty. He'll tell me if it's real or not. That's when I used to care about shoes and name mm. brand and stuff like that. What? Now you just don't give a care. What? Uh, no, I definitely don't. Yeah, no, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, my girls. They stayed. still smell good. They smell good. They smell like perfume. Mommy, can I smell it? My that's, smell that's back when I didn't care about my health, too. Mommy, can I smell it? Can I smell it? They smell good. Back when mommy used to smell good, girls. <laughs> now she smell like funk. Back when I had time to smell good. Today I got time. So, yeah, we headed to the park right now. It's super blue in here. Good, bro. Show them the grass. Oh, a guy. Hey, it ain't dark green. I do. Aw, Jade, Seda, and Gia. So precious. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Hmm? Yeah. Out here. We out here. Huh? About to show wife it. Oh. What do you mean? That's how you know I don't even I didn't even like respond to that. I know I was just scuffing up my stuff. I'm just mm. used to wearing things from Ross. So what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Hear me act like he know everybody in the neighborhood. He don't know nobody. Ain't nobody know him. <laughs> I know everybody. He does know everybody, and I don't know anybody. You don't talk? <laughs> huh? I keep her inside the house. I just, I don't know. I tell him all the time, I feel like no matter how much I go outside, because I do the gardening outside, like, you know, my plants and stuff, especially now he doesn't cut the grass. So it's like there's no reason for you to even, like, be in the front yard doing landscaping and tending to the garden so i'll be out there doing stuff like even when i'm leaving the house or just anything i never see people people are never out when i'm out and when they are out they never look at me to make eye contact so you know i'll be like staring them down to a point where it's like okay they're not gonna look at me but whenever this man steps outside to go take the trash out the whole neighborhood's out <laughs> there you go Right? Wouldn't you agree? Like you literally step out to grab something from the car or grab on, something across. just going to the mailbox or whatever and he always runs into everybody. So that's how he ends up knowing the whole neighborhood and yeah, I never see anybody. I, I step outside for whatever reason and then they stop and hit me up. Like one day I was taking the girls to... Uh, yeah, they, everybody talks to him. Everybody thinks he's a nice guy. <laughs> they look at me and they're like... Mad black woman. <laughs> I, I was taking the girls to uh, gym class and some chick pulled up that lives down the street. She said, oh, she said, what do you guys, what do you take your daughters to? And I told her, she said, oh yeah, I just set my daughter up. And like, you know, she just started chopping it up. So like now when I see, come on baby. So now when I see her and her husband, they always like hunk and, and wave, I say, what's up? I feel like people got a problem with the way I look. No. They've always told me from when I was young. RBF. That I look mean. Yeah, I got a resting mean face. RBF. <laughs> look it up. So, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. I do my part, so the rest is up to them. I can't help the way I look. Hey, but it's funny because if I'm wearing a tank top and all my tats are showing, trust me, nobody says anything to me. They don't? <laughs> no. Trust me, I've seen the difference of wearing tank top with tats, wearing shirts with do rags and braids, wearing a suit with a bald head. Completely different vibes. <laughs> 
But either way, full of all, brother. Hey, they say a black full woman is at the bottom of the totem pole. So we have it the hardest, and you know, it kind of it shows. It has shown all of life, unfortunately. Where are your socks at, bro? Reach out, you Where are your socks at? <laughs> I accept that I suck at basketball. I remember, I think I was in sixth grade. My dad bought me a basketball court because I said I wanted to play basketball. And I was a softball player. Was a softball player since six years old. And I was good, I was good. I was one of the star players every time on my team, you know, home run hitter, all that good stuff. So when I wanted to play uh, basketball, my dad, you know, my dad was thrilled about that. He wanted to buy me a basketball court, so he did. And I played a lot in the backyard. I would, I would shoot around. And I realized I was not good. <laughs> I realized I wasn't good. And we had these plans for me to try out, you know, for the basketball team at my school. When it became that time to sign up to play basketball or to try out for basketball, I was like, no, I chickened out. I'm not gonna lie. I chickened out because I was used to being good. I was used to being the good one on the team. And so realizing that I was not good in basketball, I didn't even know the rules of basketball. I was like, no, I'm not about to set myself up to look like a fool on this team. So I didn't try out and my dad was all mad. <laughs> he felt like he bought um, the basketball court for no reason but it was still fun like it was a good little accessory to have at the house like especially when our friends came over and we had it for a very long time so it was cool but kind of on that same note like I feel like Jeremy is used to me being good at stuff because naturally I'm an athletic person I just I am you know but basketball I'm just not it's just I don't know why I'm just not out of 30 shots I may make two you know i remember we went shooting come here jimmy <laughs> come here we went he took me shooting one time right and i don't even what is it called when you throw because we he had shotguns oh he still has shotguns and we went shotgun shooting is that what it's even called mm. what is it called can, skeet, you, can skeet, you tell the people skeet shooting skeet shooting okay so i guess this is when we throw the disc up right yeah in the air so you manually throw the disc with like a little handheld and it's all about flicking it you know what i'm saying like you just pop it flick it okay. you know it's simple right no just, to who because it's enough speed for it to come around and then you pull back so it comes out of you know out of the holder that's a whole technique that's a whole 
that's a whole technique a whole lesson in itself okay so he wants me to throw the crap up for him to shoot it and so I was trying I was throwing the way I knew how to throw mind you I'm a softball player so I threw it like a softball that's all I know <laughs> <laughs> as I'm throwing it like I guess I wasn't throwing it high enough you wasn't throwing it at all. It wasn't even and, leaving that freaking the thing. But but on top of that, I like I've always threw with the sidearm. I'm a sidearm thrower. Which is perfect because had, you come from right here and you hold it and you just But bam, you have pop to it. understand that we don't throw that way. Like to throw a softball is much different than throwing anything. Anything, really. Do I know how to throw a softball? You throw awkwardly, but you throw it. I throw awkwardly? awkwardly? Yeah, it's not, you throw very stiff. You, you're like, you could tell you're not a, a, a baseball player. You know what I mean? Like you- Do I get the job done? Yeah, for sure. Could you get the job done throwing that, that thing? Yeah, I threw it, right? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Boy, you don't remember how it, it's short of a distance and went? It, yes. It wouldn't go past the table. I couldn't even shoot it. No, I remember exactly what it was. It wasn't going high enough in the air for you. You, Because you're shooting up. You wanted me to lodge it up high in the no, air. It just, you know, it's not necessarily going up. It's more of just a line drive. It can be, it can be eye level. As long as it's out there. But then it's like where? Where to though? It goes straight ahead, just like throwing a frisbee. Straight ahead of where? Because there was a lot of different, like, you know, there's a line of people who were shooting. So for me, it's like, okay, our our range of shooting is straight. Correct. So it's like now so line, I got to go. Line drive is straight in front of us. But boo, that's not it, how it you're doing it. It doesn't have to be up. It doesn't have to necessarily be down. He's it's a just, liar. It needs to be further out. No, you're you're not being. I might I might have video footage of it. Yeah, I think you do because I remember even when he was throwing it for me, I was trying to shoot it, and I remember having to aim up high in the air. And because I'm not was, used to throwing pop ups. Because I was throwing it up there, but the thing is that you wasn't doing either of those. That's what the issue was. The thing that also is Girls, to be remembered way. is that I'm not just holding a disc and throwing it. I have to hold some little not you mechanical. What was that thing? It's like a. It's like a. Uh, yeah, that's different. That's like. I that's, mean, it is. It is different. It, yeah, it's very different. But the moral of this story is, me being a soccer player, I throw the way I throw. Right. I think he's used to me having an arm throwing hard or whatever. But he was so mad. Like, he was getting so irritated. I was pissed. <laughs> Watch out, dog. Ow. <laughs> he was getting so irritated with me. And I'm just like, for one, geez, this is my first time. Take it easy. I'm like, I'm a girl. <laughs> hey, equal opportunity, man. I'm not, I'm no feminist, okay? So let's chill. But yeah, I just remember that day and I remember leaving so mad. We were so young. We were like, we were teenagers. Dang. But I, I just remember feeling like, dang, people are used to me being good at stuff. They can't even accept when I'm not good at it. Huh, mama. Huh. Here. <laughs> hey, best up right now. Boo, best up. Best up. Best up. Bet what? Did I make this shot? I don't need to bet anything. What's yours is mine. What's, what's there to bet, honey? You feel me? Massage? I still get them. What else? What else you, what else you offering? Oh! Whatever you offer, I just got. Nope. <laughs> and it was in there, so don't, sure. don't blame me. But I didn't do it, though. Don't blame me. Okay? Get on my face, bro. What are you gonna do about it? Bam! Here comes mommy! Oh, my phone. Hey, check the, uh, the weight requirement on the slide first, bro. I told you you could, probably can't fit. No, my legs were oily, so I, I went, I put my knee down and my knee slipped. Yeah? Yeah? Let's go up the right way. Come on, which way? Let me. 
Chase y'all. I'm out of breath. Be careful, mommy. Yeah, be careful, mommy. Oh, I got this. Let me show you how it's doing. Full moon. <laughs> Jeremy, <laughs> this stuff is too small. I told you what. Please, this hurt my knee. Mommy! Go ahead, big mama. Go ahead, big mama. Woo! Big mama! Yeah! Big mama! This stuff used to look so much bigger when they were smaller. How funny. Come on! They can't make this stuff bigger? Jesus. All right, let it go. Go by yourself. Ooh, go ahead. There you go. Keep going. There you go. You got it. Almost there. Okay, one more. Ooh, go drop down. Good job, mama. Give me some. Go. You want me to hold you? Yeah. Her arms are short. Okay. Ready? Go. Swing. Oh. Ready? Go. Go. Do it. You got it, Jenny? Go. No, no, no. Hold the same one. There we go. All right. Now this hand over here. Come on. Go. She wants to do the... the you got to switch arms, baby. That one. Okay. Okay. Go. Press the three button. Alright. Huh? I got you. I got you. I see you. All right, go ahead, Shanice. All right, all right, here we go. That's a dang shame. That's a shame. I'm embarrassed. That's your mama. Can I go too? You can sit on me. Okay, excuse me. Feet up. Put your feet up. My, I can't. That's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't. Mommy. I'm too big. Take Gia down the side. Like me tr trying to put my feet up requires my arms being out. Mommy. And Mommy. that hurt my elbow right now. You guys ready to go home? We're here by ourselves. No. Go, Gia, go. Ready? Go, Gia, go. Woo! She don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> you like that? Huh? You like that? <laughs> coyotes Feet are up. out. Let's go. The coyotes are coming. <laughs> well, hello everyone. Today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the amazing fathers out there. I actually just pulled up at my parents house because i'm going to celebrate you know my dad today for father's day jeremy's working today which is why we celebrated him yesterday but today it's just it's been a crazy morning it's been a crazy day um seda woke me up let me just <laughs> let me just tell y'all the nonsense of a night that i had um seda woke up at around two in the morning crying about her ear hurting and so, you know, I'm confused, not understanding what's going on. She just like tossing and turning, crying, whining. Um, and about maybe after an hour of that, she ended up going back to sleep. Around three something, Gia woke up. So I'm feeding her and, you know, trying to get her settled, put back to sleep and everything. So, you know, sleep is already messed up for me. Now I'm very tired, you know, and I wake up to um both Seda and Jade hungry around like six something I think they wanted a snack so they you know I, they got a snack and then Seda tells me like her ear doesn't hurt anymore and so I'm thinking maybe maybe it was just you know I don't know a false alarm or something but then around eight o'clock she's crying again she's crying like non-stop just holding her ear and I could tell she's very sleepy as she should be you know so she ends up um going in my bed and laying with me and you know I'm laying with her and trying to console her and she's just not feeling it she's unhappy she's in pain she you know and I'm like oh gosh like what's you know what's going on and like like Jeremy's at work and you know so I'm dealing with this alone and Gia's starting to wake up. Jade is hungry. 
you know so it's like I have multiple things that I have to take care of mind you it's Father's Day we had plans to go to my dad's house and so I'm trying to get food ready for them while Gia is in her crib like whining for me Seda's upstairs crying Jade's saying she's hungry and then my my friend Patty wants to show up today okay so like I'm having cramps throughout that and ju just I was just ready to just say you know what forget it we're not going anywhere I don't I don't want to deal with anything you know so it was just a struggle and we ended up making it out of the house right now it's 222 not the time I planned on getting out at all um, but we're here <laughs> we made it the girls are inside right now um, and I just needed a breather which is why I'm sitting in here talking to you guys and I look a mess like I didn't do anything with myself I'm wearing a t-shirt some sweats yeah Seda is doing better she she says she's doing better I don't know if that's because she really wanted to get out and come to you know my dad's house I don't know if she you know wanted to play with her cousin I don't know I don't know if she's just dealing with it I don't know if she's still in pain she mentioned recently to me that when she opens her mouth her ear hurts but she still hasn't eaten she's only had blueberries today and like a little fruit snack and yeah so I'm just hoping she's okay um, and I hope she gets a good night's sleep tonight because she's definitely going to need it but happy Father's Day to all the amazing, wonderful men out there.